Hi, welcome to Pigeon Classes. It's classes for IGCSE, GCSE students. So today we have to discuss one of the interesting questions from the IGCSE Ask a Paper question. So it's a, a question from 2023. So here we have a triangle is given EQR and angle PQR, this angle is obtuse angle and we have to find the area of the triangle PQR. So if you look at this triangle PQR, this is scaling triangle all the sides are different so none of them angle is 90 degree so if it would have been a 90 degree then we can use the straight away formula half times base times height but here we have to use the formula that is area a is equal to half times a times b sine of angle between these two is c okay so this is just a in short this is a this is b this one is c and this angle between c is a b is c all right capital c okay these are it's a small c side fine so uh, here in this question angle pqr is obtuse angle so we have to find out firstly obtuse angle using sign rule concept fine so sign rule concept says that means you need to have to have a opposite sides okay so for Q, we have opposite side that is 4.2, fine. And for R angle means this 18 angle, we have opposite side is 1.6. So we can say that here sine of Q angle upon 4.2 is equal to sine of 18 upon 1.6. All right, and transfer this 4.2 to the right hand side and calculate the Q value. Q is equal to sine inverse of in a bracket 4.2 times sine of 18 upon 1.6 right so this is means sine value of Q angle Q you will get so here angle Q we will get it's a 54.2 fine but this is not a obtuse angle okay this is acute angle we are getting here to uh, to find angle Q we have to subtract 180 minus 54.180 minus 54.2 is 125.8 125.8 is the angle we will get so we got here this angle Q right then we can use this angle 100 and uh, angle Q is 125.8 and we can find out angle P so we can use the angle sum property of triangle angle sum property of triangle is 180 degree so here angle p plus 125.8 plus 18 is equal to 180 times 2 to the right hand side so you will get around 36.2 is the angle p now you got angle p right 36.2 so you can use the the area of triangle using sine rule concept fine so sine rule here area is equal to one half a times b times sine of c so one half times here 4.2 times 1.6 times sine of 36.2 that's it so if you calculate using calculator you will get around 1.98 square centimeter is the answer fine i hope you got this idea and simple way of solving these kind of questions these are six mark question five mark question so you if you write these step by step answers you will get straight away full marks and you can achieve a a star grade in your mathematics fine so to know better tips and tricks subscribe to our channel as well and even I have left the contact in the description box for our classes. Thank you.